What's up guys and welcome back. We're here with another part of our Wrath of Sparta campaign with myself and Scrim. Hello. I'm pretty sure this is like part 21 we're on now and Scrim I think so, yeah. And Scrim is uh, about to go into a siege. Um, well, I think you're being sallied out, aren't you, in this one? Yeah, the enemy sallied out. They've got um, got a lot of light infantry versus my heavy infantry. And, uh, my heavy infantry also <laughs> unit rank 7 and above, some Ooh. of them anyway. Yeah. So, so you're going to... Yeah, sorry, you go ahead. I was just going to say, you're going to have a bit of a tough time, but I know you're very good with cavalry, but see what happens. Ah, I, I'd like to believe I'm good at cavalry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got my own, but I've yeah. got my own cavalry this yeah. time, which makes <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, I've got the Iron in Hippias, and yeah, the Thieve in Hippias. Uh, this could be interesting. Right. Um, but yes, if you watch the last episode, then you will know that we are uh, known about this siege about to happen if you haven't watched last episode i recommend you go and do so um very very good there's not much in the way changes you scrim has decided to uh l abandon the south and make yeah north. i was actually raped my pillage all the way up north yeah and we are going to he's going to make a northern kingdom and uh yep athens has retaken andros so it's gonna have to come down to me to retake that <laughs> yeah sorry about that but um <clears throat> my generals weren't as loyal as i thought Yes, I'll need to make sure that mine is still loyal. Oh, it's a nice open field. Nice open field, not too much in the way of advantages, really. Um, yeah. You've got, you've got a bit of a hill, but... Yeah, you've got some trees. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally, two little, uh, you know, groupings. Oh, yeah, oh, my garrison army just looks pitiful. And just like, the one after that, the army that you've got, oh, it's strong. I mean, like... That only um, that cavalry unit that slightly damaged. That's what I did in the past battle, and that's the only damage I did. This is <laughs> a bad sign. Hi guys, and welcome back. We're here um, on the battlefield now because we decided we had a little bit of a crash the first time we tried to do this, so we we're like, we'll, we'll go again, but we'll just copy the intro that we did in the first run, and we'll bring in uh, this new battle. Hopefully, this works. Time. Ah, indeed. We did load in quite quick, so we don't think it's internet. We think it's probably just a glitch. Yeah. I'm just hoping that it doesn't happen again. Ah, indeed. I. I don't know why our I is just such a funny word. <laughs> <laughs> just don't know why. Right. Um. Ah, indeed. Ah, indeed. Ah, indeed. Actually, don't know if I'll put you there. Keep all my spare. Hoplites over here. Put you up here. I've also pressed fast forward, so just when you're ready, um, uh, yeah. when you're finished planning your uh, your demise, I mean your your army. Mm. Call what you like. I see your cavalry charging in. God, it's a bit late. <laughs> I'm just about there. Here we I go. Know, but I was just hoping. I was wondering if you were gonna turn it around, turn them around. Nah. Oh, you've got Ionian Hippias. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're, they're, they're pretty good, but I think I've got. I think mine are maybe a little bit better. I think they are, but well, yeah. Just see what happens. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm losing decisively, apparently. That's so my turn. Maybe they were just bo were both so good. <laughs> Bye. I'll chase you. You can try. So there's a few stragglers that get caught up, and it's like, no. Come on, shift. Aha, got one unit. Or some of the unit. 
Surprisingly enough, you've only got you know the things over there. There's only like four of them. Oh. And the other bad. ones are actually in. The other ones that are running away are actually uh, in front. Frustrating. Well, the first engagement is over. Yeah, that was fun. I don't know who won that really. I mean, you've taken some pretty heavy losses, but I'm not doing amazingly well either. I was gonna say yours uh, third. I've seen a few thirties for you. I think they're about a third down, you're about a half down. Yeah. If I got those spears there in time, we might have been okay. Yeah, that's why I ran away. I knew what you were doing. I expected no less, Scrim. <laughs> so they're going over there. Um, let's just get this entire ragtag army just out of the way. Yeah, some of these are pretty weak now. It's not looking healthy. Hmm, looking pretty dinged up. Yeah. We can live with it. We can work with this. <laughs> Units all just slowly marching forward. Yeah, alright. I didn't realise you wanted to fast forward. There you go. <laughs> oh, that uh, was way before I was... Um... Alright. When you were charging your cavalry out. Aye. Uh, why? 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 Archers, get back. Silly bastards. Go back, you bastards. So many mercenaries in this goddamn army. Right. I wonder if I'll do any, any damage to any of these hoplites by the time they like come in with all javelins. I don't know. They're, I mean, the me melee defense. They're pretty armored up. Yeah. So, it would be interesting to see. I expect nothing but failure. <laughs> I've lost a guy. Oh! Cool. Yep, I've lost four people. Yeah, okay, you're taking you're taking a few. Taking a few, a few with me. Now the grudging match begins. Oh, that cavalry charge, Jesus. Right. The men are wavering. Oh, already wavering. Not a good sign. Who's wavering then? Oh, cavalry on the flanks. What cavalry? My cavalry. Yeah, what so cavalry? <laughs> oh, actually, no. Your light hoplites really are not surviving no, at all. They're not doing very well. It's because they're just not even chevroned up. If they had some um, chevrons, they might be okay. But they... Yeah. No, it's not the case. I'm going to just send you in there. Don't mind me, just doing some damage. 
Yeah, but you've broken through the center. Have I? Yeah. yeah. That's kind of it then, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's kind of already it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't... It was fun while it lasted. I don't think I really did much damage. Like, nine. There's one with, like, 13 dead. This, yeah, it's not looking great. Actually, go in there, please. I don't even. Did I even lose my general? Oh, did you shoot him down? No, he's no, no. He's uh, I'm not aware of your general being dead. No, he's still there. He's in a weakened unit. No, you got your picked off like general as well. Yeah, but he's just getting surrounded. Ah, oh well. Yep, yeah, you do some friendly fire scrim. That's fine. <laughs> don't bother me. I've got the men. <laughs> I don't mind. Kill them all. Oh god, that was nasty. It was. Now I just need to run down your general. Well, that was that was a good bit of sport. Well done, lads. Oh. To be fair, that was always going to be a tough one for you, just purely on the uh... experience level. Yeah. And having a lack of no hot plates as well doesn't help. <sighs> The AI just likes to spam out those light hoplites and militias. Um, yeah, they do. I think they're meant to be the baseline infantry, like you said. I think the hoplites are pretty pretty elite up here. Yeah. Their cost would seem so, but... Compared to everything else, but... You need them, really, to win a battle. <laughs> yeah, if you want a decent chance. Ah, oh, just run down your general, call it quits. So. Okay. Should I fast forward? Can do. Can so once, the once the general's down, they're relying on like some bloody captain in the garrison, so... Yeah. It's fine by me. That'll be... That'll be all. <laughs> Cavalry and one unit of hoplites who are against your general, the only people to take a bit of a battering. So I say uh, that's successful. Don't say that. <laughs> huh? Making me um, feel bad. Decisive defeat, yeah. Well, I don't care. I'm not Athens. The, the odds were against you. It's, uh, it's just... I outnumbered you, but the quality's just not there. Rip. I oh, actually well. killed off the army. Wow. The army doesn't even exist. Good. Doesn't deserve to. Thanks, Athens, for giving my men some extra experience points, apparently. Uh, we're going to enslave some people. Slaves. Right. Oh, yeah, we were actually in an intern. I forgot all about that. <laughs> yeah, that was Athens uh, kicking in. Although, I just realised the garrison survived. Oh. Fair enough. How is Spartans I'm nervous. in this game? They've retaken back home. Um... Yeah, they've re oh. yeah, they've retaken Elias, haven't they? Aye, indeed. I might have a problem with um, Sparta if they don't if they uh, run out of people to expand into, because they're not at war with Athens anymore. It's a very strange... Oh, no, Jeez. they... About 30 turns ago, they made peace. <laughs> no, that's a bit dangerous. Persian Empire doing its thing? Because I don't have any eyes down south anymore, it's just darkness. <laughs> it's just darkness so I know... Fear. Uh, oh, the Festival of Her... Her... Hercules? It's not Hercules, it's something else. Oh, is it Heracles? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's, Her that's, that's Hercules, but just in the Greek form. Ah. They called him something different. I'm very happy because I've just got extra public order per turn, but there's another rebellion. Luckily, my other army has arrived. Yeah, we're just not going to, we're not going to bother really fighting this. <laughs> no, no, not today. I'm going to a protective stance just to conserve troops. Oh, right in the mouth. I lost 58 men. What would I ever do? It's probably about as many as I killed in that battle. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're not supposed to agree. <laughs> <laughs> no. Right. Let's go back to probably breading games. Um, 
Oreos has decided to stick around for another few turns, which is fine. I'm just going to demolish it. Um, that army can go up north. Not really an over. Not really an awful lot I can do down here. Got my economy back up and running at least. <sighs> Spies doing some spy stuff, which is good. Um, I can recruit another one. Excellent. Well, Macedon's come back into my lands, and it's with a small three stack. But I'm a bit worried because they might just buy mercenaries and then take Dodonna. Should they do? I'll be that very, could probably work. Yeah. I'd be very annoyed. But there's another army also. The ten thousands now on the march. I need to deal with that one because it's actually a force. Uh, tax province. Successful agent. Uh, sod it, I'll have you. Got another diplomat now. Yep, Festival of Heracles. Right, let's get on with some stuff. After all this time. Okay, right, so I have to cancel that hoplite. I have to attack the 10,000. And we have an ambush. Oh. I don't you'd know. Be ambushed. No, I'm ambushing. Oh. And I, it's 89, so I might just auto resolve. Oh, I was going to say that would be interesting. It would be interesting, army. but um, 13. It was pretty. I know I should have possibly. I know, Scrim. Large armies. They always turn turn the tide of battle. Maybe I love how the rebel armies. No, sorry. It's alright. Maybe I was just, just going to say, maybe you just don't want to risk it. <laughs> Just realise a rebel army outside Larissa, who is where my main stack is, so they're gonna have some fun dealing with my major. Oh dear. That's not a good place to rebel. No. Right, let's let's do some damage to your supplies. Ten thousand. And then Come on. Oh you're so rubbish, spy. Oh dear. So bad. Right. And then I've got somewhere up north to take. Oh, the the one stack army left, so it's now an unoccupied sea. And this is 99. I'm going to just carry on. What what, what have you captured? Argo, Argos Oristico. So it's like the first place I've captured ah. in about 10... Not 10 episodes, that's an exaggeration. <laughs> but Quite a while. A little while, yes. Now it looks very strange as the map. Yeah, it looks like you literally cut the Macedonian lands in half. Yeah. It might be wise to take over Antogi, though, in case they decide to raise an army there. Yeah, it's just a long way to go now out of the way. That's the only problem. I mean, it also will help with um, bringing Epirus, like, more under my control, but... And they've got lumber. Yeah, it's true, they have got lumber. It looks like they do actually have a barracks in there, though, just by the, um... Uh, what do you call it? Just by looking at the city with the buildings, obviously, all. Oh, yeah. They add, it looks like they have a barracks in there. In fact, they do have a barracks in there. Uh, I can't tell. I can't tell. Right, I anyway. Sorry. I was no, just... I just, if I remember correctly, it's a little camp, so. Anyway, carry on. I was just going to uh, do some building and buying. Building and buying. Do some of that. Build some. Oh, I have now a full 20 stack fleet. Excellent. I could attack Athens as 15, but I'm not really sure if I want to. <laughs> it would, but it would be some losses to take into consideration. Yeah, exactly. I could kill off the Boeotian secessionists. Good do. I mean, the rebels are now taking over Oreos and Calchas, but they don't move around. They just kind of occupy. And uh, that's going to be a 20-stack set in the city, so... Yeah. I'm going to leave Athens, and I'm going to put my army into there. Gonna start recruiting some more light hoplites, I think. Just a couple, just to uh, so I have maneuverability. And then I might attack Kyristios. I don't know. The, the vengeance of Atlantis is kind of in the way. It'd be kind of good to get out of the way. <laughs> they have a lot of marines, a lot of armored marines, it looks like, as well. Oh, I'm not sure. I need help. <laughs> but I, I would, but I've got nothing down there. Yeah, you left. <laughs> you... I kind of left them to it. They did. 
they wanted independence. Now they've got two rebel settlements. They've got an iron settlement, and Andros has been taken over by Athens, so they've literally got one settlement. Uh. How's your civil war going, you bitch? <laughs> I've, uh, I also forgot I've still got Melos as like a vassal. But they're not doing anything. Oh, yeah. They're still getting, Just... still getting plus 51 a turn in public order. <laughs> this is all like a full stack fleet and army there. Yeah. Can you command them to attack somewhere? Oh, that's a point actually. Can I? I mean, get them to attack Andros. I mean, that's. So I could set a war target. Um... If you set it on Andros, that gives them a little bouncing point. And on top of that as well, it kind of removes the. Uh, you know, because they have a full fleet and a full army, they're going to be pretty tough to beat. Yeah. yeah well, we'll set a full. Hopefully now they just don't go and take Melos. Like someone goes and takes Melos. Very true. And then the Melos is left starving. But I mean, we'll see. We've set a war target. See what happens. Um, I'm going to end my go, I think, and just pray that Macedon doesn't do anything fucking dodgy. But, um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. They've um, got two armies and a navy, but they're just being built at the moment, so. Ooh, Athens is sending its fleets around scarily. No, it's, there's two, like, in my land that are not. Well, I've damaged one. But another one's like also very damaged. But they, I'm just scared that they're going to build mercenaries and just go. Yeah, we're taking this settlement now. Take them out. Finish the job. I will have to finish the job. Oh. Okay. Byzantians turned up. Somewhere. Oh, have they? Yeah. I think it might be in Argus or Astikio, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'd be surprised. You have to go through Macedon for that, unless they're allies. Yeah, I'm not sure. Macedon, here we go. What are they doing? Oh, okay, they just moved a little bit. Yeah, it's Ma um, Macedon uh, in Oristikio. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. I might have a uh, big battle on my hand. A small village as well, so you haven't got any walls. Hmm. Mind you, I'm going to take over Dion and... Yes, Rebels, you may have the City of Oreos. Because I know you're going to sit there with a really fat stack, which means you're not going to get taken, and you're going to be my rear guard, whether you like it or not. <laughs> yes, the army is called Ares Terror. Oh, it's just a, there's a lot of militia hoplites at the moment. Mm, so they're kind of okay then. Are they ranked up or anything? Uh, there's one with a. Sh I can see three. Two have no chevrons. One has one chevron. One bronze chevron. And then they've got. I can see some light cavalry and some mercenary Thracian peltasts, and that's it. It's their faction leader as well, so if I kill him, this could be interesting. Oh, yeah, that's going to take a blow. Right, I've now secured Felissa, and uh, they are in public order plus nine. Excellent. Which is very nice. Military crackdowns only plus eight as well, which means when it goes back to normal, it will be plus one and increasing because of conquest, which which is what Boatia should have been. Yeah. But Boatia is a bit of a dick. <laughs> so, now we're going to push over into Dion, I think. My armies are still replenishing, but Dion aren't looking that big. The armies aren't looking that brilliant. In fact, they're not looking brilliant at all. Although this guy has got a hoplite, so I think they're... Oh, Oreos fell, I've just seen now, yeah. Hopefully Athens just doesn't go and decide to take all these places back, so we've got to be forced to take them back anyway. <laughs> oh, I I've hope just... not. <laughs> just... Um... Oh, really? What? I did my spy to do some uh, reconnaissance, and even though it was 75%, it failed. Oh. Wow. Oh, I found a 20-stack army of Athens, but it's just out of reach of my fleet. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. Oh, and another one, another 20-stack uh, Ares uh, Terra fleet, which is uh, roads, but it's a load of transports. So they're bringing up another another one for the Butcher. They're coming in. Yeah, my fleet's going to be very, very leveled up after all this. I am still researching comedy. <laughs> It's literally spent the last four or five episodes researching tragedy and comedy. I must. Ugh. I'm the same. <laughs> it's um, not good. I always forget as well that if you uh, research everything in a like in a section, you get like plus. A sm yeah, a, a small bonus. bonus. I forget. But then you get a small bonus plus three diplomacy. Like that's going to change anything. I know the last one's plus seven. If they stack, so I got plus seven, plus three, so I got fifteen overall. That'd be great, but I'm not sure if there is. I'm pretty sure it just adds a couple it's like two and for me that's nothing because everyone hates me because I have Athens you have Athens so. 
I'm trying to see if I can make peace with anyone. It's looking... Sparta's still quite happy with me. We're very, very friendly, actually. It's just... That's it, though. I might be going... I might, um, after I've done comedy, go down ships and start upgrading them because, obviously, now I'm needing to use my navy a lot more. Might be handy. I guess I'll just end my turn. There's not a lot for me to... Oh, yeah, I can need to upgrade these guys. Persia's also around Andros. It's interesting. Andros? Yeah, they are... Persia has a fleet at Andros. Oh. So they're getting very close to the west now. I think I'm going to make you a commander. Charge bonus, zeal, raiding. Oh no, we're going to make you a fighter. Because we're now going on the offensive. Alright, I'll end my turn then. Okay. Oh no, I want my spiny's upgrading. Despite failing, she gets upgraded. <laughs> I know, um, my own's like that. Networking. Hmm, public order. The mine's corruption. Burn ammunition. Hmm. Ah. Uh... Supplier might not be a bad idea. Let's get supplier. Yeah. yeah. My my uh my spy has been required to oh we're gonna recruit the um you always recruit the pirates. Brings down your cost of ships for a little bit, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, let's try and sabotage again. Fifty percent chance of success. Fifty fifty. Yeah, probably fail. Yeah, failed again. You're useless. <laughs> fifty fifty. <laughs> I don't Pardon? Pardon? Oh, we can't even reach. you got to deal with that um, Byzantine army, don't you? Yeah, I'm just trying to reach the 10,000. They are... Eh. I'll leave them there. They're raiding my territory. That's just the problem. At least your units can uh, replenish while that's happening. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is, no, this is like around Ambrakia. This is like down. Oh. This is like down there. Athens. Uh, Macedon is like, it's a weakened army. I've ambushed it and weakened it. It's the one that's been kicking around. No, all my army is basically re um, basically at full strength, um, ready for Byzantium. If I get my garrison up then a little bit more, then that's even better. But um, we'll see. We shall see. Let's see what happens. Yes. Right. Um, I'd like to take an Antigonia. I know you keep suggesting it, but so I could get more public order buildings and make this province like me more. But not really got the forces to do it at the moment. Um, Alternatively, you could just push west and wreak havoc on Athens. We're nearly there. Yeah, I'm go possibly going to try and take... Where's their fleets? Where's their fleets? What's this? This is the Bryzo Wards. Okay, I'm going to build more marines. Oh my god, we can build a lot. Oh, okay, that's it. Alright, we'll build all those marines for that, the Sirens of Misogios. And then I'm going to move you to Lorien. Okay, so I'm going to try and retake at Andros. Um, who's confirmed? Okay, so allies are preparing to move against it. Did Melos do that? Or will Melos do that next turn? Probably do it next turn. Um, t -t -t trying to find... I've got like a thousand... A thousand pounds to spend on stuff. I've actually got a decent income despite the misfortune last time. Very good. And because I say the rebels are holding on the two major capitals... All um, all my little successionists have is a little iron settlement and not a lot of income. So fair enough. I'm gonna spend money on upgrading him while giving him a promotion, and then um, nothing else I can really do. Oh, actually, I've just realised that I think on a, my faction leader is down south uh, on an island. This is just a random general. <laughs> he's on holiday. Yeah, he's on holiday. Yeah, yeah. He's, Greek politics has taken its toll. Yes, he's, he's very stressed out. Um, I'm pretty sure I can't spend any more money, actually. No more money to be spent. Unless it's on soldiers here. 
We'll spend one on some hot plates. There we go. And I'll end my turn again. And hopefully... So okay. Athens is up to now. Athens has reoccupied Andros with an army, so I will have to pull back to Lorien, because a fleet can't take out that army. No. I... Sparta keeps putting... Mind you, I just oh, realised... Here you... we go, Byzantians attacked. Have they actually? Yeah. Um, it's apparently not in my favour. They have a lot of militia hot plates, admittedly. Mm. What have you got? I've got a fair amount of lights and a fair amount of... I've got four hot plates, two militia, and then six, seven light hot plates. They outnumber me on missiles ever so slightly. And they have worse cav. I could sally out. I feel like that's a fight more than a... Uh... I feel like you could probably fight that. I think I could probably fight that in the field better than I could defending. I'm gonna sally. I'm gonna sally forth. Let's have a look here. Yeah, you've got the superior units. Ever so slightly, I would have thought, but they have. I mean, to be fair, quite a lot of their militia hot plates do actually have chevrons. They do. They said they lied to me. The intel lied to me. They had ch chevrons all this time. But we'll see. It says it, says it is slightly in my favour as well. I'm not. Hmm. <sighs> Just looking at the armies. I've got two cav. You've got two cav. But then you've got more soldier, infantry soldiers, which means... That's interesting. And you've got the better... Hmm. I've got the better see... cavalry as well. And you outnumber me. Huh. See how it goes. Ever so slightly outnumber you, yeah. Gotta remember as well, the militia hoplites have, like, next to no morale. Like, well, unless they're in the hoplite wall, the morale is just non-existent. Yeah. We'll see. If I can just... I don't know. Don't know. I'm a bit worried because I don't, I'd like to win this because otherwise it's about two or three steps back from what I was... Yeah. And I've got to rebuild that entire army again if I lose this. Not fun. But ah uh, well... Yeah. I think, even though I'm playing the enemy and I, I need to play as the enemy, yeah, I would suggest yeah. it's breaking the morale is probably the order of the day. Yeah. Because you've got some okay units, but with very poor morale. Yes, I, I think militia, um, light hot plates against militia hot plates is a fairer fight than light hot, light, light hot plates against normal hot plates. Yeah, that very was, much so. That was a very that was like a tongue twister. That was, <laughs> but um, yeah. Oh, that's my army. That is going to be the order of the day: is to break. If I can get your general as well, that's a plus because he's the faction leader. Massively so. Now I'm really annoyed. I was going to use the hill to my advantage, but the hill's actually out the boundaries. Ah, good. <laughs> I mean, you're you're downhill anyway. Yeah. I mean, you attacked me, technically, but I sallied forth. Ah. Actually, no. <sighs> it's very interesting. Very interesting. There we go, and then you... to there. <laughs> so much thought goes into this. Hmm. Jesus, you... Do you outnumber mean infantry units as well? Yeah, I do. Ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. See, I'm nervous because despite the supposed. Now, looking at the balance of power, it says you've got the advantage ever so slightly. Mm. That's why you should never trust an auto result. Your generals can be wrong. Yeah. We'll see what happens. The hill's sort of in the. Oh, yeah, the very top of the hill is very much. Yeah, that's where I was going to go, but um, unfortunately, you, you, it's out of bounds. If you new box, I will be very upset. I will not do books. I do that in my free time, because yeah, sometimes I do, but I will not do it in front of a player. Also, it's, a, it's not like you are massively at a disadvantage. It's pro it is probably a fair fight. Terrain-wise, it's my advantage. That's yeah. the only thing I've got going for me currently. I don't know. I, I don't know. Militia hoplites with a couple of chevrons might be okay, especially since my light hoplites, most of them have one chevron at best. 
at best. <laughs> right, up you go. <laughs> and you've got javelins. I have got <laughs> other stuff. I don't know why the AI insists on bringing javelins. Oh, you've got some mercenary cretins. Okay. You've got one arch unit. Yeah. And everyone, They'll do some damage. Yeah, everyone else is in... They're sort of in phalanx. Though this one looks pretty... Um, look at... Um, if you're facing... Like, if you're facing I'm attacking... Um, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Look at the fifth unit in of militia hoplites. It's not in. It's not in phalanx mode. <laughs> is it not? Well, look at if, on my screen. There's very much like, look at the front yeah, line. Yeah, there's not. It's not really looking very formed up. No. <laughs> Gonna reform them. Right, get go. back in position, you silly bastards. You're welcome for that, by the way. Also, <laughs> and while that was happening, no. I've lost your cavalry. Have I? No. Oh, I, you. Oh, I I've, lo I've lost them. <laughs> I literally just, I just got scared. I was like, ah, oh, you bastard. No. I have a... Uh, like cavalry and you've got a uh, fucking hypnotist. Jesus. Yeah. <sighs> I can afford them. <laughs> Quickly now. There's going to be one way to do all that. See you sending your slingers up first. Hmm. How close have you got to get with your uh, mercy inspirations? Yeah. As close as I need to. Oh crap, you're on. Bleep. Surprise, motherfucker. You can try everything you like. I don't, to be fair, it's uh. I think we'll just pull back from that. Oh wow, your cavalry. Yeah, I know, I was thinking that. Not looking good. Run away, run away, run away! Ah. Uh, damn cavalry. I'm frustrated that that did not pay out. Oh, just. Goddamn infantry, get up. God damn hell. Very annoying, they're not... Units aren't paying attention to what I want them to do. Uh, can you pull back? Infantry, please. Hello. <laughs> oh. Starting to get nervous. You're getting nervous. I've got a flipping army to lose here. It's the joy of playing as the AI. The you can yeah. just do what you want. Oh. The thing is, I am actually sitting here feeling really, really bad. Why? Because you're destroying my army. <laughs> yeah. Because I, mean, I, I know really, that. Not really destroying it, but yeah. Uh, my cavalry's been lost, but I can replace it with more iron and hippies. <laughs> It's just one of those things where it's like, I want us to be Athens, but at the same time, the rules are like, nope, you gotta fight. I'm just like, no, I don't wanna fight. It's alright. I understand. I understand your pain. 
He's still out of me in infantry. That'll be the winner. I think. Hmm, we'll see. Are you uh, actually... F What's your range? I just realised the range on archers in this game are... After playing Three Kingdoms, are not that good. Yeah. It's alright, it's the range. It's... Oh, guess you can go into the fray then. Oh Christ, you really do have more infantry. Um... I've still got some light hotplates back here, I didn't even realise. Oh shit, yeah. No, 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 oh bollocks. Okay. Ah! No! Oh, oh you're shredding that light hotplate unit though. Uh, can you not go in there please? How did you You're get Hippias? You, you still got Hippias? Yeah, apparently. Oh, my general's gonna get a little bit too far exposed, but that's fine. The advantage is still on you, according to the uh, bar of balance. I don't know how I'm getting pushed through all of this stuff as well. Oh, your general's broken through. Not good. Go, run away, run away, run away. <sighs> Can you leave me alone with your cavalry? <laughs> See, some parts you're breaking through, and other parts you're just not. I don't think my center's about to give away. You're behind my center. Yeah. I'm not quite sure how that's happened, Scrim. I'm questioning that, too. I believe you're general, maybe? Oh, there's a few places I'm behind from your center. Yeah, I know. It's making me nervous. It's not doing enough, though. It's... Oh, my cavalry! I've... I've... I've really made a mistake here. Mistakes were made with my cavalry when I ignored them. He said this was a faction leader, yeah? Yeah. He is mucho importante. You just... You just... Trying to snipe him, aren't you? Well, I'd rather not engage him. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'm going to win this, Grim. <sighs> Lack of cavalry now. Oh, your general's getting. <sighs> Do not think I'm going to win this. Oh. Pick my my general's broken. You've killed my general. Have I killed him? I don't know. He's broken. So I think that might be GG. See the morale, yeah. Ah, <sighs> well. Ah, well. Back to oh. back to square one. Well, the good news is. You can still you still have a chance inside your own settlement. I don't think I do. I really don't think I have a standard chance at all. Enemy general's dead. Oh, what the? F okay, you've killed my general. You've killed my general, and my units are still wow. fine. You're f 
Oh. They're yeah. fine. They're not even breaking. Not One even. of them's gone red, but he's gone orange again. <clears throat> There's just a lot of our men flee the field of battle. Uh. <sighs> Some of these units that have not broken yet is just amazing. Have Some of my units are breaking, that's... Good. <sighs> I shouldn't have possibly spread my line six in. <laughs> nah, I don't think I've really got a chance. Those hot plates, especially on the far flank, are gonna have rinsed me. Our men flee the field. Uh. We finally broken the unit that was. Break the lines! Break the days! <sighs> Thing is, it looks like one end's breaking for you, one end's breaking for me. Yeah, your end. The balance of power is still very even at this point. Your end's not breaking quick enough. <laughs> just a lot of noises coming from your end, just like, oh, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> I once. <laughs> I do, I do generally want you to win, I just... I right. don't know what to make of this. All my units are still fresh, surprisingly. Or winded. Hmm. You've still got a second crazy. general though, that's a good thing you've got. Yeah, don't know where he is. He's on the very far left. Ag... Sickles, Exicles, yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully he didn't die. <laughs> I don't think he has, so... I gave it to you a light hoplites, so they know how to hold. And in some cases they do, yeah. In some cases they, they're just like, oh, I, don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Oh. Some more units have run away. I'm sending my creature and archers packing because if I was in that position, I would um, I would have them retreat. Um, I'd probably send them in to fight, but that's just me. <laughs> nah, when it comes to archers, once they're expired, I kind of I put them into retreat. Send my artillery, because then you got you could, the enemy can't kill them. I guess, yeah. So even if you lose the battle, you've got some pretty serious um, gear hanging around. Mm. I've still got hoplites. Yeah. Some full stack as well. Oh, I, I've seen. <laughs> Although they are exhausted, so I'm going to leave them there for a wee bit. God. Now, you say... Uh, You going back on that hill? <laughs> well, a little bit. Where are you off? I don't. I'm debating whether or not I should make a last stand or retreat now. I'm trying to think what I do in this situation. Now I've got four units left. My army. Yeah, you still got the. I'm trying to think what I would have done in this situation now I've got a chance to retreat. Ah, damn it. 75, 58, 54, 53, 23. In my mind, I'm doing what would I do if this was my army? Hmm. And genuinely, I would call the retreat. I think at this point, I'm gonna chase you off the map. I'm really, yeah. I'm been nervous this entire battle. I mean, I, I have as well. 
because this army has just got so far and like to travel from my one of my provinces now to the next province it takes so long uh. <laughs> I'm calling the withdrawal order because you'll you're gonna kill them off and I've got a chance to run away at least I've got the faction general or uh, faction leader dead yeah so um, and for, for the viewers out there I am genuinely saying withdrawing because I'm gonna lose the battle not because I do want Pope to win because I do want him to win because I don't want to be, but I want to, want to crash into Athens with full force. But in this situation, uh, Pope here has got more infantry units, which he can curl round, and because of light hoplites, they can get round me very easily. Now, militias aren't known for the best morale. Yeah, I've got some hoplites kicking about, but the chevrons, they're not, don't make that much of a difference. So I think purely for the fact that he can get round me with his um, light hoplites at least alone, um, it's going to be a retreat because he can just get round me and kill me. Is there's no, you know. That's why I'm calling the retreat. No favoritism. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm a genuine guy. Like when we started the series, yeah. it was when you're the enemy, you have to fight as the enemy and do as he did. Yeah. And what I'm oh doing here so is making. Oh my god! are breaking just because of force march. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just, we'll just, we'll yeah. just not do that then. <laughs> I will end the battle. Oh god! Costly, costly enemy vi victory. Yeah, that's what I got. Costly victory. It's very nasty. Well, I'm if, saving that replay as well. If, if Macedon appears with a, a full stack now, we could be in trouble, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was very, very close. Oh, I, yeah, killed, last... I killed as many as I lost. Sorry. I just interrupted. Yeah, no, you've done dealt a heavy blow, but... um, Literally. Like like I say, just to re reiterate what I was saying earlier to the viewers, like I say it was the case of if we're fighting against each other, we have to fight as the enemy, and like I say, my decision as an enemy general, even though he's now dead, yeah. is he can curl around me and take me out from all sides, and I'm not going to get flanked and beaten up, so I called a retreat because I had the chance. No, it's fair enough. I mean, we've both been brutally, been brutal to each other a few times. I've beaten you back yeah. in some fort battles as Athens and stuff like that. So. Absolutely. I mean, don't get me wrong, at the very beginning, I was um, tempting cavalry out, and I, I basically annihilated them. So that, it's not like I wasn't thinking tactically. Yeah. I basically took out your cavalry and I did a fair amount of damage. I was annoyed arch. that you took out my cavalry, because they're both dead now. I'm going yeah. to... I think I'll enslave the captives. Because I don't want to release enslave them. Enslave them. Yeah. Yeah. So like I say, it's not like I wasn't fighting against them, going, oh, I'll let them win here and there. I literally decimated his cavalry, because I thought that would be the winning factor of the day. As it turns out, the only other factor I thought could win was the simple fact that he has a lot more infantry. Yeah. And that kind of played a part in why I retreated. Yeah, now we just got to hope that no one else attacks. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get decimated, boys. Yeah. Macedon is going north with an army. Mm, nope, it didn't do anything. didn't move anything near that. Oh, yeah, I saw, it, I saw it shoot off briefly into Embrakia. Yeah, it's uh, they've they've gone somewhere, and Rhodes is going taking a different route. Ah, oh, indeed. Would you say that battle we had was probably the most tense we've been? Oh, Cause, definitely. Um, I've because yeah. I remember, there were times we were sitting there going really tense, really tense. I'm suddenly going, "What are you talking about? You've got more infantry. I'm scared." Yeah, I'm um, really, really scared. Right. I don't know if I should just skip Dion and go to An Anger, uh, where they're building forces. Maybe maybe go for... I don't know. It's up to you. We'll go to Dion and just hold my ground and get my second army up. Maybe go for Dion. Weaken them. Yeah. Because I can do a... Um, I can do night battles, which means I can probably take out some of their armies anyway. Mm. It'd be a good interesting siege battle, actually, thinking about it. Yes. Very nice. Um... But, but I was going to say... I was going to say... Uh, just now when you were talking about whether you're going to take out Dion or that, it is actually the end of the episode. We are... That, ah, yes, indeed. It is. We are probably over time because of that battle. But So, guys, if you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe and check out Scrim's channel for his perspective of the battle and his stress levels. And, yep, uh, they, were, they were up there, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I imagine so. So, until next time...